What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, people? It's your boy, Marv Black. And McGee. Yo, Dad. The, we are the nerds in the hood. You stumbled on that. In the hood. Because you, you messed up my rhythm, King. No, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> yo, he always, yo, he always. Nah, he no, always, always places his blame. No, let me tell you why. Always places his blame. Every nah. time I do I want to yeah. see how he flips this and put it on you. Whenever I do, what up, what up, what up, people? What go. does he always do? Yeah, but I don't think no. he's, he didn't do that first. Yeah, exactly, stay I silent. He, I ain't he gonna lie. Stay silent. You, so, he, so he's expecting you, you, you to fall. You like, you like pause for a second. I think it threw the whole balance off, and then I didn't know what to to do my year. So like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, that's why I was like, wow. Well, but, 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 but then you started though. But then you started though. Because I was like, yo, he, I don't know where he's at, man. I don't know what happened. No. But it was good. That I was, always mess up the intro. I was, yeah, I was an old good. Spanish man. Poppy, what happened? Yeah. I always mess up the intro. <laughs> so, we are at the Nerds in, in the, the hood. hood. Yes. Back again. Uh, another episode doing our thing this week. And uh, we are here in NYC. It's rainy right now. Um, we We braved the storm to give you people some more fresh content of Nerds in the Hood like we always do. Word. And we're going to make Working sure hard. we give you another fire episode <laughs> Uh, more fire content coming up later this week as well. So we might as well just go ahead and get into it, man. Two days ago was a beautiful day. Well, two days ago when we were recording it. When you guys see this, it'll be later. Um, but the Golden Globes passed. A lot of history was made and in so many different ways. Yo, first off, as a fellow entertainer, shout out to Joe Coy. You, you, oh, man, yeah. You, sh- you shout him out? Like, personally, like, you I, thought he did good? I'm not saying that he did good, you but I'm also not good? saying that he was trash. He They were killing him. In a, in a world where you have where the shoes you got to fill is that of Ricky Gervais's. You, you <gasps> not. You, Sorry, man. I, you know I don't know anything about these <laughs> things. Anyway, in a world where Ricky Gervais hosted it like three separate times, crushed, and now you got to follow that. And this is the first time it's on CBS because it was always on NBC for many years. Now you're like, oh, snap, man. I don't, you know. And he tried. He really did try. I'm not even going to hold you. He he tried. It just was not good enough. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he blamed it on the writers. That's where he messed up. So as a fellow entertainer. You got to blame somebody. Please blame. He had to blame somebody. He threw all the writers under the bus. He said, yo, they hired me like 10 days ago. And I was like, even if they did, fam. But. I'm not blaming him. I'm blaming CBS or whoever was that casted him or booked him to host, because you gotta know, Ricky Gervais is good at talking shit and keeping it and keeping it a stack, and not giving a fuck about what he says. Whereas Joe Coy, that's not his style. He tells stuff about his family and stuff like he tells funny family stories. That doesn't make him a I've bad comedian. I've seen clips of him. I haven't seen like seen all of it. Like I just seen like clips of them. And I mean, he seems fun. I haven't really like sat through like a whole like stand up or something. But um, some like uh, I feel like the internet has deemed him funny because everybody talks about him. Mm. But I've heard on the other side where he, like some people feel like he's not that funny. So I mean, it's something because I see him they mixed. I mixed see reviews. I see the I can see where he's funny, but I don't know if some people just don't like you know that yeah. type of comedy. Right, right. It's, it's mixed reviews. So yeah. that's that's what I'm saying. I was like, but they say he did bad. Yeah, I they mean, he, did he didn't. That's <laughs> what I said. I'm not gonna sit here and say he did good, but I'm also not going to sit here and say he was trash. He just. Yeah, just wasn't his night. It wasn't his night. Jokes wasn't flying. It was a lot think, of awkward you, moments. You think uh, you think he he folded under the pressure of the lights? Perhaps. Okay. But he's he's sold out shows. He's rocked the house before, so it's hard but to never, say. Like, never like an award show. Yeah, I know. So, so, and it could that's, be different. Could that's be what different. I'm saying. It's a different vibe. Could be different. But in a world where you can't book, maybe you couldn't get Chris Rock with Kev. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, definitely couldn't get. You probably couldn't get Cat because Cat would have wild out. Oh, yeah, you know, different different things. Different different comics probably wouldn't have helped Cat. make it different. So they had to settle with somebody that was like, "Hey, I'll do it." I don't know. I don't know how they picked them or why they picked them or whatever the case was. Um, I'm still gonna shout him out. It was tough. He did what he could, but. Ugh. I mean, you get him next time, champ. Yeah. You rock the house Sometimes, plenty of time. So it is some people it is. can't be a, a host. Like some people. No, you're right. Maybe, you're 100 yeah, right. That's people that you could be talented in other things, but certain things like that. Maybe yeah. you just. I mean, that's a that's a hard that's a hard gig. That is a hard gig. That is. That's a Being hard a host, gig. especially to like a, a so, top well, yeah, like yeah, award cool. show. Yeah, like, people award watch, show. Like, and you're not even telling jokes to regular people. You're yeah, telling yeah, jokes to like you're high not telling jokes. Yeah, you're not telling jokes to your fan base. 
Level. Right, right, right. So right, the people right. around you ain't gonna really receive right. how you how your normal audience would. So it's, right, it's always right, there. Right. It's always different. It's You're always telling different. jokes to high profile athlete. Um, excuse me, not athlete. Athletes. athletes? athletes? I know, right? Jordan was there. <laughs> Jordan probably. There was. Well, I know some athletes in there. Yeah. there. I mean, of course. If I ain't see him, but they might have been. <laughs> <laughs> they might have been there. Who knows? You know, like so I, I uh, it's hard for me to say, but I don't know. But. What I do know is, shout out to everybody that won a Golden Globe that night. Um, We're we going to go ahead and get this out the way with some of the winners. We're not going to, you know how we do here at Nerds in the Hood, we don't say every winner. Every some winner. winners, they deserve the praise, but you know in the hood, there ain't nobody in the hood sitting there like, yo, you really telling me this movie won for best cinematography? Nobody's sitting there saying that. <laughs> we don't say that. We don't talk about adaptive screenplays. We don't talk about best writing, best direction. We're not sitting there talking about it. We give them props. We'll sit there and say, oh, yeah, good looking out to Spielberg and them or whoever. But we're not really, like, jumping out the window about it. Facts. Yeah. So, anyway, um, first off, this is this is not, I, I realize this ain't going to be the last time I keep bigging this up. So, we're going to keep bigging this up. Uh, the Golden Globe winner for best animated movie. And say it again. Oh, my God. <laughs> The boy in the Heron. The Heron. And, and Yo, this movie went. Glo- in the Golden Globes? In the yeah, Golden yeah really? best motion best motion Tell picture animated. Smoke. It smoked Spider, Spider, uh, the Spider-Verse yep. and Super Mario. Yep, and? Oh, shit. Elemental yep. and Wish. And, oh, really? Uh, you, was it like, oh, so, Suzume. Suzume? Another anime movie. I didn't see that one. It was really good. Elemental, it's on Crunchyroll though, for anybody who needs to see Elemental, I mean. It's that ele- Disney shit. It's that, yeah. Yeah, Pixar. But Spider-Verse, though? Damn, this movie must be really good. The it's boy Miyazaki, and the Heron. Miyazaki took nah, out. we gotta, we gotta have yo, to sit down. Yo, he took out Zuck to that watch this. <laughs> yeah. If, it comes it got, if it's heat like that, being yeah. out Spider-Man, element, yeah. nah. Yo. You beat a I Pixar gotta, movie, a video game movie. Best motion picture animated. Sequel to one of the best comic book movies. Like, you doing things out here. Yeah. So, big yeah, shout out to Miyazaki and, and his whole squad. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And Spider-Man, we've been talking very highly of. They, it's been winning so many other things. So yeah, like, so... Yeah. And I thought that was gonna win that. I thought it was gonna be between. Be, excuse me. I thought it was gonna be between Mario and Spider Man. And Miyazaki said, "Hold my beer, fam. We out here. We we about to heat. We about to we about to cook. So we gonna let him cook. I am no. I am retiring that joke of the Heron. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah uh, we we just be saying. I just was saying Heron. You you you, li- you literally comparing a masterpiece to drugs. <laughs> 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 it's just it's just proven that it's a masterpiece and it, beating out all those people yeah right. and you're over here comparing it to drugs because the hair on man it's the, the hair on baby yo wait nah it's that top quality yeah that's what i'm about to say you I can't know that's what you're about to say top i know that's what your next that's time was. That's like, damn you say you're predictable like, with your jokes yeah. that's top quality baby nah, he's from the I, block he's like so maybe it's that good hair that good hair on the ones that made people line up to go see it nah chill 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 bro. <laughs> Why are we promoting Heron on our channel? Yeah. We're not. <laughs> nobody ever said we were. We, we Ain't we... nobody said that. Nah. You talking about the the grade of it? Come on, man. Nah, this is a crazy name though. The boy in the Heron is crazy. <laughs> cause, cause when you call when you sell it the Heron, it starts with a bull. <laughs> the boy in the Heron. I want. I'm yo. That if you just told me that. And I didn't know it was an animated motion picture. I'd be like, "What kind of sh- movies? What kind of <laughs> movies is this? What is this? Like, what am I looking at? See, that's why I'm laughing <laughs> what am, at it. What am I looking at? If you don't, if you don't really pay attention to the trailer or anything, yeah, you're and you like, just, it's always just like, "Yo, you gotta see the boy in the yeah. hair on." They're gonna be like, "What?" You're like, "Who's in this? <laughs> Davies in them? Who's who's in this shit?" That's all you think. Yeah. It's like Davies. It's like, "Who's in this? <laughs> Griselda?" Like, that's all you think, it, bro. That's all like, I'm squad, saying. Squad, 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 squad's in this. All right, what but, we got next? Oh, you're right. Uh, What's the next topic? You're right. You're right. I just like I said, I wanted to get that out of the way so we could focus on, you know. We got. I see cinematic box office achievement. Okay, so that's actually good that you scroll to that randomly. So, (laughs) cinematic box office achievement is actually one of their newer awards that they just gave out. This is the first one of its kind. Mm. Now, here's what's funny about it. That's why you're on the show, man. You know this inside information. Also, I just watched it when they said it. You just watched (laughs) it when they said it. Yeah. Uh, Anyway. Uh, they were. They, this is a movie crowning the achievement of several movies 
that basically just dominated the box office in sales. That's all it is. So yeah. if you look I'm at the sales, list, yeah. I'm actually very upset God right damn. now. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I'm upset because I'm gonna name the list. You're gonna name the list. I'm gonna go through it. I'm it's Guardians right of the now, Galaxy. Yeah, it makes it makes sense. It makes sense. But the choices is Guardians of the Galaxy, John Wick, Mission Impossible, Oppenheimer, Spider Verse, uh, Taylor Super Taylor. Mario Bros. Oh no, I'm, I skipped that one on purpose. Okay. Super Mario Bros. and Barbie. All of those movies are real movies. And then you have Taylor Swift's tour. Why was that even an option? The Swifties, bro. They was in Why there. was that even an option? Because I just told you. He's talking about box so then, so why, sales. So, so, why, so, why, so why Beyonce joined out in there? Because she didn't get the sales. What you mean? I saw people dressing up to go to the movies. That doesn't mean it got... Yeah. Uh, nah, people were going to this Taylor yeah. Swift shit. The Barbie joint, though, it doesn't surprise me, but it, it definitely it definitely does, like... It, it, it yo, deserves the, it. The Swifties be out there, bro. I'm That's crazy, you. They be, they, they will, Taylor Swift got They will... There. Push their girl to the top. If Taylor Swift would have run that, I would have been done. No, nah, no, nah, I would have, I would have just eighty six out of well, Golden uh, Globes, right? Yeah, like, nah, eighty six out the Golden Globes. I'm, like, uh, I'm trying to even. Okay, um, it says it, her movie is the highest grossing film in box office history. History, excuse me, among concert and documentary films with more than two hundred sixty one point six million earned globally. Okay, that, I get that. What's your what's your what's your what's your home girl at? What would Beyonce's joint? You can look that one up. She's she not your home girl. She not your home girl. No, nah, uh, I, I fucked. Okay, come now find this. So here's the thing. Do you know what was? Do you know what was the original record holder of this? What movie it was? It's not probably Prince. No, it was Michael Prince. Jackson's This Is It. Was there a Prince tour movie? Nah, nah I think I'm so. thinking of Purple Rain. I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I said that because it was had to do with a singer in a movie. <laughs> but that was telling a story though. I just, it's purple Rain told like, a story. Yo, what? <laughs> he just cracked a red movie. Purple Rain. <laughs> purple I was like, Rain. Wait, doesn't that have an actual story? I got you. All right. <laughs> All right. Beyonce Renaissance. Uh, <sighs> that's crazy. But I mean, it's yeah. just crazy to me that she's even in the running for people who are really acting. And you, you, you know, obviously she's. She's, she's performing. She's being herself. Yeah, she's singing, but to be like, yeah, you know, but that's this, why it's called this box movie. Office. Yeah, yeah. So, so if you release this, it in the movie, this movie it killed matter. it. Like it, it didn't. So hers only made. Oh, um, the movie itself only made forty three million dollars. Damn. But that was as of December. It might have made more since then. Nah, but her shit. That's, but that's nowhere close to Taylor, Taylor Swift. Trump that two hundred and sixty one million. Yeah, or something like that. So it, it deserved to be on that. Yeah. So like Dev said, it's not right. honoring. Her in a sense, it was it's honoring the movie. So yeah. these these were all nominees for the movies that were dominating the box office during his time. Mario Brothers dominated in terms of animated movies, in terms of I think adaptations as well. Spider Verse dominated, John Wick dominated, Oppenheimer and Barbie right. dominated mm-hmm. the whole summer. So these are all movies that were dominating the box office. So this is the first one of its kind, and they also did uh, best stand up performance, which is the first time they've ever nominated. Any stand up to be a Golden Globe winner, and that honor went to Ricky Gervais. Yes, he did. Dude. So, shout out to him. He hosted, shot on everybody, set him out, and then came back and won one. So, that's that's just that's awesome. Shout out to Christopher Nolan, again, uh, director for, of a motion picture. He won with Oppenheimer. Opp- uh, well, yeah, Oppenheimer seems to be on a lot of dubs on here because the- it was an amazing movie. They got bro. best motion picture drama, mm-hmm. it got. Best original score motion picture, which yeah. I don't know what that means, honestly. So what that means is the 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 theme the the song in the movie. So in the movie where you're just hearing like in the background, like uh let me see. So you know I'm trying to think of a oh, so you know like in Star Wars where you hear yeah, yeah, yeah. like that or when Darth Vader comes out, yeah, that's the score. <clears throat> so that's like the music, like the original the music, music in the background. The yeah. Background, yeah. Mm-hmm. So okay. that's what that means. There's that's original fine. score, and then there's actually like best song, which Billy Eilish won that yeah, for Barbie. Billie Eilish, yeah. So yeah. Um, and there's a name that we know here that we cannot pronounce, and we are not going to butcher it, ladies and gentlemen, because that's not who we are here at Nerds in the Hood. What was it? Uh, yeah, man. Do we've it? done it. We've done it. I know, and I and I don't want to do it again. Um, <laughs> make so it seem like we're not above it. This woman won for best. Uh, best actress in a drama movie. And oh, best performing for, female actor in, in motion picture drama. Yes. 
Lily Gladstone. You can't say that? I don't know why I thought. No. Oh, you know why? Huh. You know what it was? And the mover was Killer Oh, I think I was thinking about her mover. character in the movie. So that's all me. Oh, okay. But hey, it was a precaution, people. Better safe than sorry. Killers so, of a Flower Moon. Yeah, she's anybody the seen first, that? She is the first. I didn't no, see no, the whole thing. The character she played. I, I could be wrong. She was the first indigenous woman to ever claim the award. First indigenous woman to ever uh, won, win that award. So shout out to her. History was made all weekend also because they had the Creative Arts Emmys the night before. And uh, Kiki Palmer won uh, for Best Game Show Host. The first woman in 15 years to do so. I'm pretty sure she's the first, uh, might have been the first black woman as well. But the first woman at least in 15 years to win that. So you got you to gotta give her props for that. I didn't even watch Password. But hey, shout out to her because, you know, when it comes to game shows... Our, our, our abuelas and uh, abuelos be on that. The grandmas and grandpas. So you're doing something right. Sheesh. What's what's wrong? What's the sheesh for? Um, no, I'm I'm reading that. Uh, it's like I feel like sometimes with this thing, once your movie wins certain things, then you know you're probably destined to win other categories. Oh. So like so like that for Oppenheimer won. <clears throat> The the main the right, main yeah, guy. We gotta start diving into these shows, these series. Yeah, the main guy won um, best performance. For a male actor, and then Robert Downey Jr. also yeah, won for, for supporting yeah. for supporting role. Both of them took two awards for that movie. So but, yeah, I, like that's what he said. Was, was sweeping it yeah. up. Yeah, it was sweeping it up. But shout out to um, which we're not mentioning. Yeah, shout him out. Go ahead. Shout out to to my movie Beef because they won they won two awards also. They won um, Ali won one 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 and. Uh, <laughs> And your boy. I can't, I can't. Why? What happened? You like the movie B? The movie. TV show? Whatever. <laughs> Same shit. No, no it's not. not. It's two different. It was things. a limited TV show. All right. Wow. You know what I was talking about, man. Nah, we I talked about it multiple times on our episodes. We all agreed that it was fire. Maybe you was talking about a documentary called Beef. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's right. It's right next to Super Size Me. There you go. Hey, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> See, I don't I knew I shouldn't even have mentioned the TV show. I, I was like, damn, I want to say it, but I know these guys are so childish. <laughs> yo. Yo. Oh, my Keep God. Keep those thoughts to yo. yourself. What's up with you guys? I, we're talking about the you fucking can golden yourself, goals. 2024 <laughs> just started, man. Yo, come on, just man. Just started. Yo. This is the second episode right, of 2024, moving, bro. Moving on. Oh, my God. Okay, now so. Now he wants to move on. Now he wants to move on. <laughs> so, uh, yes, the show beef won uh, <laughs> Best Limited Series, Best Actor, Best Actress. So, shout out to Ali Wong, Steven Yoon. Shout out to... Steven Yeah, they killed that. They shout killed out that. to them for that. It was a good show. Hell yeah. Uh, despite... I agree with all the awards this time. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. The bear the bear uh, cleaned up. Secession cleaned up. I don't like where they put the bear at. What do you mean? They put him... They put the bear in a category of a musical comedy. Yeah, I And I don't feel that. like there was no that's music. the right category for that show. I mean, yes, there were funny moments, but I, I think it was more of a dramedy. It is drama. I don't so, know where the musical part of it But they comes have from. it in, but that's what I'm saying. I don't like the, the slot they it's put the it in. It's the slot they choose to put it in for Golden Girls. I don't like, because yeah. there's other shows on there that are yeah. actually comedy. Yeah, like yeah. Abbott's Elementary yeah. didn't yeah. win that. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, I feel like they should have won a musical comedy for that one. Right. I yeah. feel like that's, Abbott that's Elementary not, definitely could have I don't won feel that. like the bear should have been in that. Even Ted that, Lasso could have had a better yeah, chance. Yeah, Ted Lasso could have yeah. won that shit. I mean, I that's know. more of a dramedy too, but there's more. I feel like there's more funny parts in Ted Lasso than there I is think they're, in The Bear. I think they're just mad because they're like, so you just you just going to choose to walk up off this show, Mr. Lasso? Yeah, yeah. They, they said, yeah, you yeah. got nothing. No soup for you. <coughs> so they, oh. they just did it. Yeah, they, I, f- I forgot about that. Yeah, it was like, you just going to end it? That's how you're going to do? After we was, was fucking with it for three seasons? No soup for you, my friend. We don't want no spinoff. We wanted you. So yeah. uh, you know I mean what? I'm hyping one, but um, the bear one, but I just don't like the the category. The bear, the bear was a good show. Um, the category though, I I could because I, I feel like that you. award could have went to Abbott Elementary. Yeah. Abbott Elementary to... had a dude rapping. Come on, right. man. <laughs> Come on. So that was that was close to close to musical than the bear. <laughs> yeah. If you ever, if you ever hear that guy actually rap outside of that show, it's hilarious. It's I'll, I'll play it for you later. But um, 
No, the bear. If it's a dramedy, it still counts in the same. It's just to put musicals in there with comedy is pretty messed up. It should be its own separate. Exactly. Should be its own separate thing. But then they're probably like, yeah, ain't enough musicals out here to Mm -hmm. really kind of do their own thing. Um, The bear was. uh, The bear was was a good show and it had a good season. Yes, Mm -hmm. it wasn't incredibly funny. The second season wasn't that funny. Yeah, the first season was funnier. You're right. The second season was really serious. Yeah. Um. Especially when he did like, did you ever notice that this season was more like an anime? Because they while, showed different characters. Yeah, like, and then he sent them to go train yeah. with like this the was best an arc people. In one piece, yeah, yeah, it was an art. He was like, "Yo, you're gonna go over here. He's the best at this. He's gonna teach you how to be better at customer service." I was like, "What is going on?" Yeah, that was the and training. And then they arc. came back and it was all nasty with it. I was the, like, the "Oh the my arc. gosh!" No, and then the he had a flashback arc. arc. Yeah, yeah, they had a flashback episode too. Oh shit, Dan, that's really yeah. that really is an anime. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> yeah. Once the mom crashed into the house, I was like, "That was probably the funniest, yeah, the funniest part of the whole season." Yo, the family dinner shit. That shit was. Yeah, that shit was crazy to the house. I was like, all right, that was kind of they funny. was wilding in there. Yeah, and then and in a slight hood moment when um, I'll say this real brief. When he when he tried to get with Sid, what was it the, the big black dude? When he tried to get with Sid, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she was like, uh, nah, like, yeah. I'm good. And then he tried to talk to her later. She wasn't listening, and he got back. He was like, why are you going? Because you won't give me. <laughs> <laughs> Classic hood moment right there. He's like, like yeah, you just gonna ignore me. That's now? why you ugly anyway. <laughs> You can't cook for shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your chicken is dry. Chicken is dry. Wet. I ate this shit. <laughs> like, you're right. You're right. That's exactly what he did. So I was like, dude, you have to find funny moments. You see, we just had to make up funny moments for y'all. Um, but yeah, shout out to the bear. Shout out to beef. Shout out to Oppenheimer. Um, Wait, you didn't say nothing about talk to it. Talk to it. Drama series Succession. Yeah, bro. shout out to Succession. Come on, man. Well, that, that that's more your avenue. That's your word. You yeah. you never seen that. Yeah, you see. Yeah, you know. That was too cerebral. That was you. That was you. Succession. Succession is. I heard good things. Never seen it though. You got to take some time out, bro. I turned it on. I was like, Yo, Scott Pilgrim's roommates in this? I don't know. <laughs> that's, what he, that's what he referred to. I thought, was, I thought it was supposed to be funny. He's not funny? Not yeah. funny? Yep. He's, like, <laughs> he's funny in there. He's funny in there. Click. Nah, it, it's, it's true. When you watch it, if you watch it, bro, I watched one episode with my lady, and I was sitting there, and when he started talking, all I kept thinking was he was going to just say some, like, witty thing, but then I kept thinking in the form of Scott Pilgrim, like, dude, you got to move out. I just kept thinking that he was going to say <laughs> shit like that, and it didn't happen. But, yeah, shout out to all of, all of it. We can say so much more, but a lot happened. Um, but yeah, definitely big shout out to everybody, man. We're going we gonna to take a shot for y'all later for all the winners. Um, oh, shout out to Jennifer Lawrence. She was uh, nominated go. for her role in No Hard Feelings. And what they did was every time they said the nominee, they cut to the person. You know, like they show their face and they show the person clapping like, yeah, OK. She looked dead in the camera and said, if I don't win I'm leaving. <laughs> she literally said it in the camera. Did she win? No. Oh, she's like, did she leave? She probably did. They didn't yeah. show her ever again after that. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see them like cut to her, like right when everybody's clapping, and you see her she's like getting up. That yeah. would have been gangster. Like, like man. Out, man, this shit whack. She's like, I'm out of this But shit. I was waiting for her to like, damn. See, no disrespect to Jennifer Lawrence, but you know if it was like, you know, some chick, some lady from the hood. She would have walked up to a person with water and be like, good shit, good shit, my nigga. Your shit was trash. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Movie's kind of whack, but whatever. What, what, what do I know? What do I know? What, 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 what do I know? I, know? You know, I, I only worked the hardest shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my shit was fire, you know, but whatever. I wanted to see her go up and do some Kanye. Like, did y'all see my movie? You know, I you know what happened nigga. because she did that? Somebody ran mad fast. It was like, they said, give me that envelope. Here, take this one. Switch it, switch it, switch it. You go win, but you, you started, you started wallet. You started wallet. You started wallet. You so. cursed in sign language? Niggas is at an after party, like, between me and you, you, you had that shit. Like, you, you, had, you got cocky. You got cocky, right? So you, you wait. <laughs> You saw, you, you don't know, but behind the scenes, there was the envelope flip. Yeah, they, they switched it off. I was there. <laughs> I was there. I was there. I seen the switch. See the switch. <laughs> the switch. I orchestrated the switch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I had to. I had to. They said it. talking shit. They said it was my job. <laughs> just pulled out the envelope. Shut, out the envelope. They shut like, it down. <laughs> shut it down. Like, damn. Oh. Wow. <laughs> you know me, friend? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. So big shout out to again, big shout out to everybody. 
Big shout out to Jennifer Lawrence for keeping it hood and possibly causing that envelope switch, like Ed said. <laughs> shout out to all of those things, man. Because, um, but we got to shout out one of, even after a week, this is still one of the most talked about stories, right? Like just in the world, in the in the world where a lot is going wrong and all different sides, and we pray that everybody is okay. We pray for peace and everything, but. True. While people was paying for priests in, in another part of the world, Cat Williams decided to turn that filter off. He was coming for heads. He was he was cashing. It was in amazing. Shows. He was coming at the main, the the top dudes, Shout the, out, yeah, the top no, comedians was, in the game. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he was yeah. coming after everybody. He was coming for everybody. And he was speaking facts. I mean, I don't know, but I don't know everything. Here and there, facts. Here and there. Here and there. They're definitely I, he had not. I mean, there were some lies and definitely some yeah, yeah. real I, shit. In I there. believe I was believing most of what he was saying. The only thing, you know, what I thought he was lying about when he said stupid shit like, "My record is ninety six and zero in basketball." I said, "Stop, you <laughs> lying." That's Who's like you cooking. Yeah, <laughs> little kids. Yeah, wow. Well, he already proved that he cooking them. Yeah, he already proved that. No disrespect, cat. You one of my one of my favorite comics. But, nah, he he he. I thought I thought the interview was great. Like, um. What's this guy's name? Sharp? Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp. Yeah. I w- I'm, at first, his interview style was getting me tight. Because he literally was like, yo, Kat, so what you thought about this movie Friday? And then it was like, but you got seven kids. Like I was like, yo, the topic switch is crazy. And then he would like, flip it back. And then go, like, he was just going all over the place. But he was, get, he was pulling all the facts he knew. And um, he also was using his advantage of the fact that he, all the people he interviewed prior to Cat Williams that had talked shit about Cat Williams, he was trying to clarify that information. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> let me know. I heard this. Is yeah, this true? yeah. Yeah. So, but I gained a lot of more respect. I mean, I fucked with Cat Williams. Cat Williams said in the interview, he said, um, This ain't the first time him doing something like this. He's always been like, No, but this time, I feel like. He showed a whole different level. Like his, him, even his, like Cat Williams is fucking smart as fuck. I didn't know he was that t- t- like that educated. Like not saying that he's dumb. I just didn't know that he was that smart to the point where like he was talking about like being on the street at like fourteen and getting into good programs at like twelve. I was just like, bro, I had no idea like any of that about mm-hmm. him. That little background side story of his actual life. I mean, to me, Cat Williams is just a stand up comedian, a hood dude that. You know, is a pimp low key, and then that was it. Like he was, and he's mad funny. He did say though. He said um, he said something that was that was true that I thought was funny. He said that every time he gets arrested, his real fans be sitting there talking about he about to get out. And I was like, yo, <laughs> that's crazy because I always used to say that he about to get out. Yeah, I was like, yo, Cavalry got arrested. Come on, bro, you know that nigga ain't do shit. And he said something about like not in this interview, but he said one time like. Been arrested 19, 19 times, been mm-hmm. convicted zero. Yep, so, yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He said he never been to prison. Never, never been to prison, never bro. Prison. Been to jail. jail I've yeah. been held, yep. but I never went, to prison. never went to prison. And it's true, bro. Every time he goes to jail, he goes to court, and all that shit that they do goes nowhere. And there is people out there, and we know this in society, that there is people out there that certain people just have a asterisk on their name and when they go to certain places there's haters there that call the cops on him that try to get him caught up that try to like banish him for whatever weird reason and most of the time it's because the nigga said no to something you know what i'm saying yeah. and cat was saying that in the interview <clears throat> that there's there's multiple movies that he shut down because they had wanted him to do shit that was not his standard and yeah. shit that he didn't fuck with and because of that he lost money and people stopped fucking with him but was that wrong of him for being like I'm not doing that? Nah, bro. Like, well, some, some well, maybe Marv, you could cl- clarify. Some says, yeah, he probably did it, but then the way he burned his bridges probably wasn't the best. Yeah. So like, he could probably be 100 percent accurate, but like you would hear like comedians talk about like Kevin Hart and all like the big names. Like, yeah, you had these shots, but you burned your bridges. Like that's their. That's their rebuttal to them. Like, yeah, yeah, you're talking about like your own standard, but like this, this all could have been you. It could have been Cat. He could have led the way before Kevin Hart ever never did that stuff. Yeah. So like he, some people say like, cause I'm not saying that he was, but people around him say he does have some like drug problems, and you know yeah. he wasn't all the way 
there, especially working in Hollywood. So there's people he, which is good, which is cool. Like if you don't want to do a certain a role and you don't feel comfortable, I bet. But um, don't get mad at the next person that doesn't, and they blow up and they make their own way. Like you yeah. chose to do your way, you do it like your way, and they chose to do a different way. Now, if you want to call it selling out or things of that nature, that's that's on the person's perspective. Some some but, of the stuff I agreed with though, like he was saying, like they wanted him to to I don't remember exactly. You probably know Marv where he, they wanted him to wear a dress for a movie, and he turned that he turned that movie down, right? Yeah. They, and the reason why was because he said he didn't want to be remembered as a comedian that wore a dress. Yeah. And that's a fact though, because Tyler Perry is a comedian that's remembered for being well, Medea in them. Well, he's not a comedian, but I get not, what you're saying. But yeah, it's, like, you it's, know not, what I'm saying? it's not really just... I think he was more re- referring to the fact of, like, Hollywood trying to dress up like a, a black man in a, in a dress. Yeah, in a dress. And, like and he didn't want to be... But, he, 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 but he, he has, you know... At the end of the day, Cat Williams is... is he, you can tell he's gangster, bro. He don't want to be in a dress. He does not... It, I it, mean, yeah, that's... I mean, like, that's as a person, man, as a person, not only yeah. just for the the movie person, you know, and, like, the black thing, like you said... But as a man, he does not want to be in a dress, and he stands on that. Yeah, I mean that's that's what it does. Well, but yeah, yeah. No, I was gonna, gonna say. Oh no, no, I was gonna say. Um, most of our icons in comedy at one point have done it. Yeah. Um, J.B. Fox, Martin Lawrence, uh, Eddie Murphy, Will Smith. He did it. Yeah, he was in. Um, it was a uh, it was a weird one. It was um uh, he he was it was like for us uh like a couple minutes in the Wild Wild West. He had, oh, he was the belly dancer shit. Right, right. Yeah, I forgot about yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So, yeah that's so, that. So, that shit out the yeah. archive. Yeah, the archive. Yeah, yeah. Will Smith. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so we, we can go on. Um, one of the very first to do a way back quick history lesson was Flip Wilson. On his TV show, he dressed up like a woman. But it was a different, it, it was a different time back then, you know? But um, he didn't have to do it, but it was a different time. Um but yeah, Wesley Snipes. So even even non comics, just like that's, that's what like I'm Wesley saying. I'm, he, I think he was like referring to because comedians are in the Holly, are in the Hollywood space now mm-hmm. when they're doing more movies mm-hmm. and things like that. So you're talking about black actors now, and like and that guess that was like a negative connotation of like yo, I'm not. Why do they like? Why is the white man of Hollywood trying to dress like you know mm-hmm. like placating mm-hmm. on it? Which but some people could say is true, but you know. Other people's like like made their bones making numerous movies, but I don't remember them for like maybe a small role of that. But may, but if that could catapult you to like doing something else, like who knows? Yeah, but there, there was a lot of shit he said. Like the the one where he was like that money Mike was supposed to get raped. I was like, what was that? What, how would that scene even have fit in the movie? Like, what was the per? Whoever yeah. wrote that was what was the purpose of that? Well, I <laughs> I should did clarify that he did say so after the, after this interview aired. Every person he's name dropped, for the most part, came out and tried to like speak against or for it or whatever. So Ice Cube did say that he doesn't recall them ever trying to write a scene where that happened. Um, And he was like, if you look at my movies, I've never involved rape ever. Except there is one movie he did. But it was it was based on the universe of the movie. Um, It was the Players Club. When he did the Players Club, there was a scene where one of the characters did get raped, and I think she died. Um, but that was because of the movie, like the way the movie was. Yeah, yeah, that was different. That like was it was different. a different. The story yeah. was telling it different. But it this, wasn't this, meant to what, be Cat was trying to say was something different. Yeah, it was. It was. It was going in a serious tone. Yeah, but in a comedy, just... he's never had a situation where like, oh my gosh, like, is, are they discussing rape? Like, they never went. You know, and he's right. Rape is not funny. So it never, he never, I've never seen Ice Cube do that. So I don't know how much truth there is to that. And it's tough when you're behind the scenes. And then when somebody does come and air it out, you're like, do we believe you? Do we not? But he, a lot of things that he said did get proven later. I mean, yeah, a lot of the things that, that. But lot, yo, some of the shit he said in this video was hilarious. I'm, I mean, I, 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 I liked almost everything he was saying. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was like, yo. The memes I've been crazy about. Like, I don't know if you've seen some of them. There's like a clip that says, <laughs> he's like, you align yourself with losers. And I don't understand that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When he was talking to Alex, when he was talking to Sean. Sure, yeah. He's yeah. like, when he was talking to him, he's like, yo, yeah. And then he, he's, he's like, like, I don't understand why he you said, align with losers. He, 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 I he also cried. Yeah, he also says that like, I don't understand why you like like big up these losers like he kept coming at him all the time and yo he was throwing mad jabs at p diddy he oh yeah he, he did 
Diddy, Kevin he, Hart, Cedric the Entertainer. He won. He told Kanye. Us. He like, didn't say P. Diddy, but in his first ever special that went to HBO, he said it. He said that. Joke. And then he he talked about the Harvey Weinstein. He, show. Yeah, he, he said talked. all of that. He said I went to these parties and these secret parties and all this stuff. And he, he said they do all this wild stuff. And he said he saw dudes doing suspect stuff there. Yeah, yeah. So he he warned us almost twenty years ago, and we just laughed. Yo, he called Chris Tucker. Uh, oh, yeah, Epstein he's, Island. He's on, he's on Epstein. No, he's but on no, Epstein not, not only yo, not only that though. It was not that he called it. He said. If it wasn't for that, he would say Chris Tucker was one of the best comedians mm. ever. But he said because he comes from Jeff Epstein's island, yeah. he don't fuck with him. Yeah. But it was the it was the quick sentence of saying, I would say Chris Tucker is one of the best comedians ever. Yeah. If it wasn't for and I was like, damn. He he gave mind you, the whole interview, he was shitting on a lot of comedians. Yeah. But he was giving Chris Tucker props, saying, like, yo, you're he's actually mad funny on the low. Yeah. But Nigga also got a whole nother side. You know which one that he blew up? The ludicrous shit. Oh, yeah. When he oh, said yeah. one of us had to go, and then he was like, you know, he was like, which one of us? He's like, one of them niggas had to sign 20 movies, right? He said, what that nigga up to? 10, right? I said, nah. <laughs> Not, yo, yo see, he's like, <laughs> this shit got it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Some like, of it lines like, up. Some and then he was, like, who, he was like, who got the, who got the white wife? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Some of it lines I was just up. like, yo, he flaming yeah. right now. Everything he said, cutting yeah, his cut hair, hair, yeah. Everything he said made sense, yeah. bro. And I was just like, chill. I, you know which one I also like that he said he, the, when they were talking about the kings of comedy and how everyone was trying to say Steve Harvey was nice, but he was like, the real niggas knew that Bernie Mac was the the nicest. Well, yeah. And and the I reason, the but but people were, but he was blowing up the fact that on the low behind the scenes, people like Steve Harvey was upset. And was like trying to say it was the kings of comedy, but it was really the Steve Harvey show. It was that's why he was the headliner. Yeah. All that is right? true though. Yeah, you it's know what I'm saying? It's all true. And like and then Bernie Mac comes and he's crushing it, no matter if he's first, second, third, whatever. And it took away shine from Steve Harvey and niggas didn't like that. Mm. And and him saying that is the truth. It's like, you know, that's like that behind the scenes kind of low key shit that's happening. And then people just there like, oh word. But Bernie Mac is the funnier dude. And if they put Bernie Mac glass, then he probably would have made like you know he would it would have been him the king of comedy, but that they weren't trying to do that. So, okay, so the, with that tour, what they did was everybody went last at one point on that tour, and sometimes people hosted. So sometimes Steve hosted, sometimes Bernie hosted, sometimes said DL. They all they all rotated, they all rotated which order they were going. Now, just what happens on this movie, which is why it lines up with Cat. In this movie, Steve didn't, he hosted. So he's told jokes in between, but he didn't do a full set. And Bernie closed. And if you look back at that movie now, in 2024, his is the most memorable set of the four. 100%. 100%. The set ended up being the premise of his show. Almost... All of the clips you see of Bernie during that whole time that he was running with them are are like hitters. Like yeah, his stand up was hit. Yeah, yeah. He he. There's jokes if you go on YouTube of what they did on the tour outside of the movie, and he is just washing. Like said had a few zingers, but his was mm-hmm. just. He made a joke about Uno that had me in tears, in tears, and it was so true because this dude's from Chicago. Saying stuff that dudes in New York would have did playing Uno. Yeah. He said niggas would have saw that skip, and they would have eventually be like, "Y'all got one more time, to fucking skip me." I swear to God, <laughs> I said, yo, I said, that's <laughs> everybody. Everybody <laughs> plays Uno. Be like, yo, y'all niggas go dead. Yo, wait till I hit y'all with the heat. So, I, I get, I get it. But yeah, everything he was saying, you know, even I, even the, the yo, but the shit, the mind, the most mind blowing. Not the most mind blowing, but one of the mind blowing ones for me was when he really took my childhood and just just threw it in the garbage, basically, by saying the Steve Harvey show was basically hanging with Mr. Cooper. And we I I never really bothered to connect the dots. It fucking blew my mind. I never I don't know. I never, saw hang, I never really shows. watched Hanging with Mr. Cooper, so I can't. Hanging with Mr. Cooper was basically he was a coach. He was, a, he was an NBA player. He retired, went back to his hometown, became a coach out of school, you know, dealt with two dumb kids, all types of stuff. I think, like, 
somebody he grew up with. He ended up like like being with her at the end. Steve Harvey show, retired musician, goes back to his neighborhood. Besides become a teacher, like it's very similar. It's so shows. crazy because I I I don't really remember much about the Steve Harvey show, but I remember everything about that fucking shit with Bernie Mac. The, <laughs> what, the TV show? The the TV show? Yeah, because where, it was where a he was show. the uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, it was a great show. Yeah, they were like all four of them had shows. Because yeah, his was the most popular one because his went to Fox and everybody watched. Everybody it. watched it. Yeah, like DL had one on ABC and it was like. Eh. Cedric had one on Fox, but it's, it, it it was slow. It got canceled. I feel like I've seen Cedric only a little Jamie bit. Jamie Foxx show. Jamie Foxx show was good. Jamie Foxx show was good. And then Steve Harvey's was on the WB. So it was like, you Jamie know. Jamie Foxx show was so good to me that when he switched over to, like, more singing and stuff, I'm like, I thought you was a pretty good comedian. <laughs> Fun fact, during the, when he made the show, he, he had an album out, but everybody thought that. That's why everybody bought the album. <laughs> yeah. And they thought he was telling jokes. So when the album started, they was like, Get the fuck out of here. This is somebody else. I'm not buying this shit. Yeah. So they niggas went and returned it. No. Cat, <laughs> Cat, Cat said a lot of dope stuff, man. I, I, I gained, like I said, I gained a lot of respect for him through that interview. Um, yes, he was flaming people. Yes, he was like, you know, whistle blowing on a lot of shit. But he was being fucking facts. Like this nigga. Do you think um, Kevin Hart's uh, industry plant? That's what he said. That's that's one of the things Cat said when he started coming at people. He called Kevin Hart an industry plant. One hundred, I, I believe it, because um, did you see? Did you hear about the part when he said that uh, that Kevin Hart bought Kings of Comedy, Kev, like when he was saying that, and now Kevin Hart runs that shit. So if Kevin Hart runs that shit, you would think that we would see some more like, like you know how when the other Kings of Comedy, it was like those guys were all kind of up and coming. Kevin, that was also Kevin, a different era. That, yeah. that's what, it that was, was a, a different, different era of comedy. Yeah, that was a different era. That, it is yeah. a different time. So it's a everyone, different time. It's stand up comedy. Come up like wasn't people come that, up through YouTube? You gotta, or, yeah. Yeah, 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 you gotta have you gotta, a follow so, to, yeah. to pop. So yeah. him yeah. saying that stuff about gatekeeping, we already know gatekeeping is a real thing in industries, and all we all know that. And anyone who says otherwise is just trying to lie to themselves, because there is gatekeepers. You just have to know the gatekeeper in order to get through the fucking gate. I mean, you gotta, you got, but exactly, you gotta have those relationships. Yeah. Because so, when you get to a person that's a Kevin Hart who is adored by Hollywood, like. So the better question is that Kevin Hart buys King of Comedy, right? And he's the gatekeeper. What would you want him to see? What were you hoping to see him do at least? Because if he doesn't do that, then it will prove what Cat Williams is saying. Like if well, he's definitely. I mean, I don't. I don't deny the fact that he does. He does have the pull to bring anybody up, but as I mean, I think Kevin Hart said it. Like he's gonna bring up his peoples, but I mean, is depends on how you look at it. Is it good or bad? Does that does that mean he's keeping other people from not get? I doubt he's yeah, keeping Cat Williams so, from yeah, getting yeah. a role. No, or no, no. Some shit he's like not. That. He Cat Williams can't say that he's really keeping him, but they do have beef. Oh yeah, they have they have whatever oh, beef. Yeah. When I'm not really sure who started the beef, but like you see how Cat was like saying like you know, him and Kevin Hart don't even be in the same buildings. Now is that 100% true? I highly doubt it. They, right. you, you know what I'm saying? They probably do be in the same buildings, but they probably avoid each other in the sense of maybe Kevin Hart avoids Cat Williams. You feel mm-hmm. me? Not really Cat Williams avoiding Kevin Hart because Cat Williams is all he stands by the fact that he don't give a fuck. So if he runs into you somewhere. And you say something, he will say what he got to say. One thing he did say about that had me laughing. He said, like, because he was talking about Kevin Hart, he was like, yo, he got, like, a, a major movie, like, and he's saying off the strength of, like, off nothing. Like, he got, like, Soul Plane, where he was, like, the, the main character in the movie. And apparently back then it wasn't that common. And I was like, you know what? He did, Soul Plane did come out of nowhere. I mean, but it was run by Snoop Dogg. The movie? I don't no. think so. Soul Plane. No. It was. Soul I thought Plane? it was a Snoop, Snoop Dogg Dog. thing. That's why Snoop Dogg was such a main character in it. No. And, and the movie was like. No, they just went so. and kind of got. I him. think Snoop Dogg was just. Well, in it, I could look it up in it, but I think he was just in it. Because remember, there was a lot of rappers. In before, that before Soul Plane, your boy Kevin Hart was in one of. He was in Jay Z movies. And he, yeah, he was in paper. What's the one that we always watch? Um, he was in so, paper, paper Full. So I guess no, that's, no, you're right. Paper Soldiers. Paper Soldiers. And Death of a Dynasty. Yeah, he was in Paper, paper Soldiers and. And that was my first time getting introduced to Kevin Hart, and I'm just like, who's this random guy? I think that was the first time, one of the first times I've seen Kevin Hart was, I think, Soul Plane or a little bit, or something beforehand. I can't remember when I saw him. But it, he did come on, like, kind of quick, 
But again, like back then, who you know, like I don't know Kevin Hart's career, so I don't know if he he could have been. I just feel like I feel like Kevin Hart's career was great, and he's a great comedian. A lot of boost came when he started fucking with The Rock. <laughs> like when he started fucking with The Rock. Mm, uh, I mean, he he was definitely made him more commercial. Made more commercial. Yeah, made him more commercial, made, and it but put him into the yeah. ability to now to do whatever the do fuck he wants, whatever kind of movie he wants. Yes. Like you know what I'm saying? He, I mean, but that's but that's I think that's what he's saying. Like he's he's kept relationships and been at the right people, he, and he also and that's why Kevin Hart was saying like Cat, that could have been Cat Williams, but he didn't want to make those relationships, and that's because his own like standard. Maybe he didn't want to do something that he felt like he wasn't comfortable, and that's. Yeah. And that's up, but I don't know. I guess it's kind of like it's kind of messed up from knocking the people who do do it, and they and they're making a good living off of like whatever the whatever you know whatever it is that they do. I, so. I liked a lot of the shit he said. There was one part where he's like talking about how he he said like I I have, I can eviscerate anyone that like stands in front of him because some of the words he used he he said something crazy like some of the words I use you don't even know the definition of as I'm flaming you, mm. and I was just like. That's such a fact, though. Like he's really intelligent, and he uses a good. He has a very good vocab. So he's over here flaming some people, and they don't even understand what the nigga is saying. So they just fold up. <laughs> like, like, That's the strategy that uh, that Ti started using when Ti started talking. Before he's be like, "Hey, homeboy, you better check yourself." That and then all of a sudden he was like, "Expeditiously, we come over here and be like, what? I know niggas be in the hood be like, expeditiously. Like, what you said?" Well, you got it, King. We was just gonna fight, but I'm confused right now. I'm a goat. I'm a goat. So your tip is wild. <laughs> nah, he said a lot of funny shit though. He said, he said, do you think, do you think I have more respect for you than my gardener? Some <laughs> my gardener come to work every day, rain or shine. Rain or shine. Nigga. So yeah. Everybody go to work every day. It was a lot, man. And I, and and like and like we said, it's. The only thing we could prove right is the shit that's going to surface after the interview. Like, they got the video of him actually in a comedy contest with Steve Harvey. They got a video of Mark Curry admitting that Steve Harvey stole his jokes. They got a video. Oh, that was what I didn't understand. So, what was that? They were saying that some, like, was Cat Williams saying someone stole his jokes or jokes were stolen from another comedian? Cedric the Entertainer allegedly stole a joke from Cat Williams. And Cat Williams... Has they have a video that surfaced now of him on Comic View telling a joke where he parks a car, but it's like a spaceship or something or something like that. And then Cedric tells a similar joke on the Kings of Comedy movie where he parks a spaceship. So it's two similar jokes, but they're not verbatim the same thing. Okay. Um, but that's how jokes get stolen. They sometimes you switch it around. Um, Mark Curry made a joke where he says that for Halloween. His mom always used to put them in boxes and make them dress up in brown, and he used to just tell people that they were UPS workers. Um, that was their Halloween. That was their Halloween costume every year for their lives. Steve Harvey, when Steve Harvey had his TV show, tells a joke where he literally says on the show that when he grew up, his mom used to put boxes on him and told him that he was his costume was a UPS worker. <laughs> So Mark, Hoover, Mark Curry is definitely sitting there like, nigga, how are you going to tell people that was your life? That was my life. I literally told that joke. <laughs> that was my life. <laughs> that was my life. And the thing is, like, when we when we when you think about music, right? Um, when you think about music, people sometimes like make covers of a song that came out already, and we never get mad. We just be like, yo, this cover was fire. So, yeah, but are joking, you saying that jokes com- are not it's, the same? It's, it's common no. that comedians take other jokes? No, this, that's what I was going to say. Jokes are not the same because every joke that you make that's heat is going to get you paid. It's going to get you booked so you can get more opportunities. And the same thing, with, it, two <laughs> times I've seen it is writing scripts or writing books and telling jokes. If somebody writes your same shit and they take it up before you, they're going to get paid first. Yeah. And if you tell a joke before them... You're going to get paid first. but It's, not, it's not even always that, though. It's not always that. Because in the rap game, especially in the rap game, you will see little niggas make a good rap song with a good flow, but because they didn't have the right promotion, it didn't go nowhere, and then a big-time rapper will be will somehow stumble upon their video, pretend they never see it, rap the same way with the same flow and everything, and that will blow up. And then niggas will compare the two, and you just be like, 
nah, the rapper did it first. Like, there's no way. Look at the dates. So, <laughs> like, so like, that's what makes it funny because you basically just in a nutshell, you you per- you perfectly described Cat Williams and Cedric the Entertainer. No, I know. I understand <laughs> what you're saying. I know <laughs> you that's what. I know no, no, I'm not playing you. Like, yeah, you I know that's what. I, that's what I know. I get what that's what happened. Yeah, you did. But it's different for. Um, it's different from music and comedy. comedy oh yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah. if you make a joke right now, Marv, right? You make a joke and it, it's pretty good. And then five years from now, I decide I want to be a stand-up comedian. And I go and I fucking blow up from that joke that you told me one time. Mm-hmm. You're going to be tight. <laughs> like, You're going to be extra tight. Not only are you going to be extra tight, it's because you all I did was switch the words. <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Kat right. also said, he said, he told him, he said, you know, because he asked him, um, when do you think you're done with a joke? And he said, you have to say the joke a bunch of times, over and over and over, until you find the perfect hit for it. Yep, and he yeah. said that takes time. time. Yeah, it takes true. time. That's true. Of telling the joke yep. and then working out yep. for you to figure it out. Yep. And then he asked him, so when do you know it's over? And he said, well, when, you, when do you not like it anymore? Like, when do you say the joke is not working anymore? Like, when you feel like it's not hitting no more, that's when it's over. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's a valid point. Like, if someone made a joke and then another comic, comedian comes and steals that joke and makes it a little bit better, is it kind of like, yo, bro, you didn't even let my man master the joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. No, I'm saying. It's like... you, but I, I want to bring up one more thing, too. Is okay. like, um, How did you feel about the part that he felt that more people need to get booed? He said that. He said more comedians out here need to be getting booed. Too many people are, are getting hype. I'm not against it, but I've never, thankfully, never been booed. But uh, <laughs> I know if I did, that shit does make you want to go back and like. But you've bombed before. I've seen you oh, bomb. Oh, yeah, I've bombed. Yeah, That's what I was about to say. I was about yeah. to say, I've seen you bomb, and I've seen how much that hurt you, and then i also seen you get mad serious after that bomb. So I get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like. You know, any sports, you fuck up, you're gonna come back harder. Yeah. But I've definitely saw you bomb that one time, and you was fucking tight. <laughs> I was, I didn't even know. He was it. Tight for the rest of the day, it was yeah, over. Yeah, no, he was tight. He he was so tight. Marvin was so tight. He bombed so bad, and it wasn't even like he bombed. It's just the room was a tight room, and he, this nigga Marvin, looked like he was about to drop the mic. Like he was like. Yo. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for the host. Like, me, my yeah, like, like, yo, yeah. see me over here failing. Like, yeah, like, yo, like, get, me out, get me out. Yeah, yeah. yeah he saw me drowning and the nigga just didn't even know. Like, he was like, yeah, Yo, Marvin really was looking around like, like, yo. Like, yo, come on, bro. Like, you like it's me? not, it's my joke's not here today, not, bro. Yeah, like, like, come on, bro. Like, yo, come come switch me out. Yeah, and the nigga just stood there like, nah, you got it. He's like, that's you, man. Keep going. You got about 10 more minutes. He's like, keep riding with those punches. Keep riding with those punches. Yeah. Like Bob and Weed, he's like you're not Weed. He remembers it was a bad, it was a it was, rough night. It was a rough night, but rough my boy, night. my boy came back though. He 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 didn't go back to the same spot, but he went back to the drawing board. <laughs> <laughs> went back to the drawing board. Came yeah, correct. He's actually to go back there. I was like, fuck out of here. He's like, nah, y'all play me. Y'all let me die down there. Yeah, I got the last laugh. That nah. was close. <laughs> you know what's funny? We drive past it sometimes. I'm pretty sure it's not. It's a oh, different, different bar, bar now. Oh, it's probably a different bar. No, I don't know what it's uh, called. It was, different, it was somewhere in Brooklyn. I don't remember. It's just the corner. Remember, I showed it to you. Oh, but it's shout out the to the guy that was doing that show. He unfortunately passed away a few years back before mm, COVID. But damn, he was a good dude because he did talk to me and it made me understand like shit like this happens from time to time. And he even said himself, he said, I have fuck ups and I felt better about that. But anyway, go go ahead with what you were gonna say. No, no, no. I was just asking, like, do you, how did you guys feel about being booed? Like, I personally think that it, he's not wrong. Like, I feel like nowadays with the internet, you your video could be not that funny, right? It could mm. not be that funny. Mm. But two hundred thousand other people found it fucking hilarious. So now you're funny. Mm. But it's not it's really not that funny. It's just that some of the people that did like it, they find everything funny. So it's like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like or or it's kids, like of course they find it funny. Or it's just a random like. So are you really funny? Uh YouTube YouTube is a is a is a different animal for sure. Um if you really people grow up people who on YouTube they develop their own fan base. So anybody outside yeah. like and they ride that specific yeah, fan base yeah, yeah, on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Instead of like generalizing going to like a comedy club where you might not get the audience that you get every night right, type thing. Right, so right, right, right. like it's very curated, like especially in this in the YouTube era. Yeah. So. so that that is the 
Yeah, that is the thing about it. It, it. When you actually go to these comedy clubs, you do see up and coming talent or guys that just been in the game for a minute and just they they just grinding. They grinding. No matter how much respect they they get, even though they know they probably deserve the world of respect. Um, you know, these 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 guys and girls are out here. They grinding. They put in the work. And Cat did acknowledge some of them in the interview. Um, some of them that were already up, but. He, he 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 spoke them up to get more up, uh, and that and that's a beautiful feeling, man. I, one of them was my boy Chico Bean. I went to college with him. Shout out Chico Bean, um, but he shout out a lot of different people, and I'm in the same boat, man. I see a lot of people in my game. I've seen a lot of people that uh, just be grinding, and they don't get the respect they deserve. So, and it's not to say for any. I'm not calling any specific reason into it. But it might be because of YouTube comics. It might be because of some of these people. Now, there is people like Ryan Davis. No disrespect to him. He he made a name for himself more on YouTube. He made a lot of videos and skits. But then when he actually went on stage, he showed that he can do it. And he kept going. Mm-hmm. And you see less of his videos and more of like him on stage actually making people laugh. And he found his way all the way to Insecure. So. Yeah. He was on Insecure. So, it, it's you know, some guys on YouTube, you, you could tell, they'll fizzle out. And some guys are going to find their way into stand-up, find their way into getting what they need. And I salute those guys, the ones that take that right path. But the ones that take the straight shot, I understand. I ain't mad at it. I really ain't. It's just, you know, don't don't just don't shit on the ones that's really been out here grinding and just going in there, man. I could say a whole list of names like Cat did, too. But yeah, just shout out, shout out, y'all. Y'all know who y'all are, man. Y'all my peoples, man. Thanks. So, uh, switching gears real quick. We do want to shout out. We it's been, it's been a week of winners. It's been a week of winners. You know, um, we got a very uh, special who winner. Won? Who else won? After 34 years, like, I guess you could say he won. After 34 years, somebody beat the Nintendo version of Tetris, which has been known to be one of the hardest video games known to man. I don't understand how, how that do you just beat happened. That? But the, it gets goes, so Tetris? apparently Tetris goes like this: you That's get to a certain the co- is, you get to a certain part of the game where it's like ninety nine, ninety nine, ninety nine, whatever, and then the game will you will you'll hit the last line and then it will just freeze. It will just end. like it won't go anymore, that, and that's how you know you apparently beat the game. Really, swear wow. to God. I never knew that. Yeah, there's like every Tetris game is like that. You just keep playing and playing and playing and playing and playing, and then eventually, like it goes to like it, like on the side of the board where it says levels and shit, it will just say like nine 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 nine, like mm. whatever your score and whatever, and then you do a final line. The line blinks away, and then the game just freezes, and that's the end of the game. And only a certain amount of people have done this. Only a certain amount of people have done this. Interesting. And this kid apparently is the first person to do it for Tetris that came out 34 years ago. 34 years ago. On Nintendo. Which is That's mind blowing to me because <laughs> we have tournament. Tetris tournaments. So you telling me in all those tournaments, Nobody's no one that. had beat that no one? Beat that That's one. why when that came out, when that article came out, I was like, there's no way that this is the first person. Because then, but then they're saying the Nintendo version. So I'm like, all right, cool. Because I guess. They're not including the one, the more famous one. Yeah, the one the Game Boy or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that was like the Game Boy one. Yeah, yeah. 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 The more famous one is like the uh, Game Boy one or something. Boy. So I guess they're talking about the original Nintendo version. Okay. I mean, that was, was a Tetris on the fuck. Go was ahead, Tetris on ever like in one of those arcade type? I feel like it was. Or did it? Or what, did you it talking start about as Atari? a console game? Uh, that not is true. a very no, good question. Tetris, well. Tetris started as a Nintendo game. It was the first. Was it a Nintendo game? Yeah, I think it was an arcade no, game, bro. No, was it, it was an arcade? A, no, game? it was it was it was it was Nintendo because um <laughs> because uh, what you call it? I'm pretty sure because you know that movie, the movie that came out. Oh, man, what is it called? But it's about it's about Tetris. Oh yeah, the actual movie about Tetris. It's, called, it's yeah. about Tetris. Tetris. It was yeah. literally Tetris. called Tetris. Yeah. 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 So yeah, the yeah, dude, yeah. the homie made it on a computer, and it was actually made in Soviet Union. So this game was not made here. This game was made by a guy in a place that wasn't even supposed to be making games. And then it was like a, the movie explains everything, like how the American dude who f- discovered the game um, went behind the scenes and had to do all these things, and there was like big contract movements to make it happen, and then he somehow got the game to come over here, and he sold the game to, or the, he they manufactured the game for the Nintendo, and it was the first game that came out with the handheld Nintendo. Like before Super Mario, before Mario, like it was this was it. It was. So I, when I did it hit platforms? Do we know? 
What? Mm, uh, so, um, I'm trying to look it up, but it was. See, it says Russian right there. No, no, I got that. We're not arguing that, brother. We trying to. He's trying to find out what system it came on first. Is like, like was it just? Right there, there. No, no. It says after a significant period of publication by Nintendo. So he's trying to see. Was it Nintendo the, first or was it arcade first? Nah, the first version, the actual first version was on a computer. It was made for people to play on a computer and then it came out straight for Nintendo. Like straight for the handheld. Mm. It was the game they released with the handheld. That's how the game was made. Let's see. Uh, he is right. Yeah, it see, was, those are all computers. It's all computers and then Famicom, which and then, is Nintendo. Yeah, and then went straight to... Because the dude... Who discovered the game? The American who discovered the game. I can't remember these people's name. Well, but, it was all around the team. Yeah, time. but the, when he discovered the game, somehow he came across it, and he, you know, he met this guy or whatever, and um, it was for the computer, and it was a very basic version. And he, they, the, him, and the Soviet Union guy, they, he like met the dude and was like, "Yo, you have an amazing game. You can change the world, but we need to fine tune it. Let me teach you." And then they fine tuned it. And then they were looking for a place to release it. And they went to Nintendo hoping to get the console. Mm -hmm. That's what they were hoping, the big console. And Nintendo showed them that they were making the very first handheld. And they were like, yo, you know, release Tetris with the handheld. Let's do that. And, it, and that's how the game became the global game that it is now. But the, it's, the, the movie, I, I think it's called Tetris. I'm pretty sure it's called Tetris. <laughs> the, I can't remember. He told you. He just said that. Oh, it's it called tough. Tetris. Nick. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, bad, 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 bad. But that movie's really good. I, <laughs> I, I put it as a sleeper pick one time. <laughs> oh, no, it's God. fine. I was just laughing because you was like, I think it's called Tetris. I'm, like, I'm pretty sure. Said, no, you're right. He yeah. said that's what he said. Like, he said Tetris, Tetris bro. bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's a solid fucking movie. All right. Uh, um, too good job with the history lesson, but... Yeah, he went down. He went down that road. Yeah, you know. What do you mean? We was, you asked where it came out first, and I said, no, you, I, I knew. Well, I'm saying you knew the shit, though. We're you, my brother. You're saying we knew what you're saying. Wow. He's so used to us roasting. He's just like, fuck y'all. Just we, walk out right now. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's see. The 13-year-olds, um, he doesn't have, okay, his name is, is Blue Scooty. Yeah, Blue Scooty was the first player to reach a kill screen. Um... He's also already a, a, a professional gamer from what I read. Yeah. He was yeah. already a Tetris game master. He just happened to beat the hardest one, I guess. Yeah, it says, um, yes, it says Tetris has multiple kill screens, each of which triggers under different conditions. Scooty's kill screen was activated by reaching level 157 and making a single clear line. But the original kill screen target was on a single line clear on level 155, which is what he missed. So, wow. Jeez. Um, See, yeah. yeah, so there you go. So 150, I thought it was like 999 or something. Oh, yeah, oh, so okay. he did that, and then January 3rd, another player named Fractal 161. I hate when that happens, He got bro. that, and then Thirsty. January 4th, somebody else did it, too. Thirsties. Yeah. OD sweaties like, right there. I gotta do it. They now were I like, wait, do. you can beat this game? Yo, we out here. Mom, let's buy it right now. Let's buy it right <laughs> now. <laughs> let's do this. this. Right now. <laughs> Yo, you know how thirsty they were? I guarantee those people didn't sleep for like the first two days after that kid beat it. Ma! <laughs> like, Ma! Yo, that's sick. The pizza here? They said, nah, he, no one ever beat it. I didn't even know. I gotta be second. I gotta be second. <laughs> Who the fuck is Fractal 160? Yeah. Yo, I'm gonna be third. And apparently he, he is like, if you kept reading, I don't know if they tell you, but he plays the game with the controller sideways. What? Does he? What? Yeah. So like, it's a different style of playing the game. So you know how like, most people hold their controller this way. He holds controller uh, vertical. And he plays the game like that. Oh, then he better beat the fucking kill screen shit. <laughs> Playing the game like that, I couldn't do that shit. I would have got frustrated. <laughs> Controllers would have been thrown. This is a thing. Yeah, I read, I read up on that. I thought it was pretty cool, too. I was just like... I was just more astonished at the fact that no one beat it. And I was like, but there's Tetris tournaments. How could this possibly work? Be? <laughs> Nintendo Switch has a whole game called Tetris 99. And there's a Tetris the high score. Yeah. So it's like... Somebody... So somebody something. got a high score yeah. without being the game? Yeah. <laughs> what? They had a high score, but it's just for some reason, it just kept going. Yeah, yeah right? There's no ceiling. Like, they, the level they were at was 250, but the, the article we just read says it dies <laughs> out at 151. <laughs> so, 
How did you? How did you surpass? Ex- my dude, had <laughs> expansion pack. Oh, expansion pack. Downloadable off. content. Downloadable content. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shout out to them, all three of them. But what, what's a game that you feel like? You would want to see somebody like you think is so tough that you're like, yo, they need to get like a whoever beats this is like a hero or like a legend, like these three. Do you, can you think of one off the top of your head, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, like man. I feel other... like every game that I talk about, people have have already beat the the, the original Donkey Kong shit where he throws the barrel. Or how about the old Lion King where there was no there save? There you screen. go. That like something no like that. Lion but yo, King, there, but there, no there's saves. people that beat that. You can watch YouTube. No, I'm saying, yeah, that's beat, but saying? it's like but he's saying no saves, no. Cheats. There's no save. No, like, that, bro. YouTube's a scary world now. They got <laughs> they got niggas who have beat they they have like speed run beat the game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like yeah. some dude like not even touching anything, just running through the maps. Yeah, and I'm like, how I'm did you do that? Yeah, I, I think it would be most of the games, just like Dev says, the Sega, the Super Nintendo days. Like, um, if you're gonna say Lion King, like, uh, damn, I'm trying to think of one. If somebody, if yeah, just like you said, YouTube is also scary too, because. I think any game we say, there's gonna be a video of somebody, somebody running through smoking it. it, smoking it, smoking it. Super, Super Mario, Mega Man. Yeah, I was just anyone before Me- Mega uh, Man, X. the Mega Man X, and yes. the, the ones before that. Yeah. Yes, that through eight was crazy. My shout out Cash Games. He's like, those games are stupid hard. Yeah. And then I go online and I see a kid literally blow through the <laughs> blow through the bosses, like just somehow do some cheat where they're just like, I'm just like, yo, how do you figure this stuff out? I was like, yo, what? <laughs> what was I not doing so when I was like, age? What yeah. was I not doing? What was exactly. I not doing? That, yo, when I when I watch those kids, I get very frustrated because I was like, damn, I was trash because this this kid is nasty. Anybody who told me that they beat Mega Man, I always I always said that they were Ultimate Gamer. <laughs> I was like, you beat Mega Man? That's crazy. <laughs> like, yeah, somebody told me they beat Aladdin, <laughs> Aladdin or, yeah. or Lion King. That's crazy too. Yeah. Like those are the OG games. Those are the OG games that you had to sit there and go, "How did you?" It's like, "What do I have to do?" <laughs> that and I messed up. Aladdin, like, Aladdin was disgusting. Aladdin yeah. was disgusting. Aladdin was. Matter of fact, Donkey Kong sixty four. All them Disney games were so disgusting that I knew not to buy any of them. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They, like, the, and those were just two movies. Wait till they was like, "Yo, yo, y'all thought this movie was hard." Somebody in the conference room was like, "Nigga, I gotta wait. We about to." Kill these parents' wallets. He was like, yeah. "What?" So like, you see, the movies was fire, but what if I took the whole afternoon lineup and made them all they shows? Like, I'm talking Ducktales. <laughs> I'm talking Darkwing Duck, yeah. Chip and Dale, all that. All that. Somebody was like, "Yo, call them on the phone. Let's get this game made. I could <laughs> give you a one load of money." They were making live cakes. Some dude was like, "What about when Simba dies? Does Simba die in the movie?" <laughs> <laughs> Then he don't die in the game. He, don't die in the game, like <laughs> he, he gotta like, live. <laughs> he's like, what if we took the musical? He was like, which song? Just can't wait to be king. Do it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's just fuck these little kids up. Just can't wait to be king. Next thing you know, kids were spending countless hours skipping homework, trying to be one level. And then they were like, "Oh, you thought you was good because you beat the musical level? Nah, stampede time, baby. You know how many, you know how many kids <laughs> probably got past. <laughs> you know how many kids probably got past the level that was irking them all, di- like all to day, to, a worse level. to get to a worse level. Not even that, but just to Remember get to a like, worse level. When you like take a break, you can't lose it. That's like, what I'm about to say. Let me take a break. But your I gotta mom come comes back. through and was like, "Yo, it's time to go to bed." And you're like, "Mom, I cannot <laughs> I turn can't go this to bed yet. off. Yeah, what do you mean you can't turn it on? Turn this shit off now or I'm plugging it." You're just like, please. That's why, that's why Mega Man at least had the de- decency to be like, look, we don't do memory cards. But if you write down these group of numbers, when you come back, I promise you will be right where you left that's off. Crazy. You got to write these numbers down. If you don't write these numbers down, you start from scratch, my guy. And you had to sit there and go, one, eight, five, two. That's if a throwback. you got one number wrong, that, 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 that was before save. That was before save. Yeah, it was before Jeez. save. That's, that was the biggest. That's why I'm in the first was all Super out. Mario? Was all Super Nintendo games? No save? No. No, not all, but Mega Man just didn't give a fuck for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> he just was like, yo, write these numbers down. <laughs> That's it. Take the digits, bro. That was it. If you didn't get the math, it was not mathing for you. You was just sitting there like, I got to start from the very first level. He was just like, no. I beat, nah. I beat seven dudes. <laughs> Now, nah, Mega Man was sick. Mega Man was dis- disrespectful. Yeah, you be going through the map and shit, go all the way down to find out it was nothing. nothing, nothing. Go back up. <laughs> yep. Like, dang. Yeah. 
<laughs> Double back. <laughs> then you found out you had to go one place so you could beat the other person. Like, yo, if I get the fire, I could beat the grass. Nigga. Yeah, right. <laughs> but to get the fire is dumb hard. So I got to get the water, too. And then you get the water. Or oh, how you beat the water? You got to go get the thunder, nigga. Like, you're just like, yo, what kind of science class is this? They teaching this shit on the low? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah it's uh, Earth beat electricity. All right, got it. I was like, this is what I had Pokemon for. It was easier. So, yeah, uh, we'll always be mad at our past, but we'll be more mad that there's kids of the future that are fucking nah, kids, speeding through this shit. Yeah, the kids of the future are really doing good at games. Really but they also good. playing trash games, though. You guys get <laughs> you guys get trash games. Trash games. Trash. trash. Games. Like, you guys get good graphic games, but they're trash. I'm going to be honest. You will never get a game. You will never get the nostalgia we got from playing Crash Bandicoot or Sp- that whole era of the PlayStation storyline franchise was an era like every game had a fire storyline every game fucking had mad levels like open world when open world concepts started to get a little bit more popping like that shit was fire yeah you know now you guys got games and it's just like all right the graphics is cool like when do we get to the cutscene? like damn son <laughs> and, then, not, and then and then most games now is to the point where you just have an open map and you just walk somewhere to a mission you do a side story and then that gives you a cutscene and then you go somewhere else and you do another side story and they don't even match up <laughs> like, like it's just it's like, just what? random shit to do like, what yeah that's true <laughs> random side quests all types of stuff yeah we didn't have to worry about all that back in the day yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's a different world but the fact that a kid could find joy in an old game, or he probably just chose to speed run it to, he probably was looking through games and was like, "Yo, who hasn't beat?" And then just found it. But whatever he did, we salute him because that's a 34 year gap. Yeah, you did that, and you did that. You uh, really did that. Also, you also now exposed everyone who's gonna try hard. And you also exposed everyone who was born in 1990 because now they now yeah. we know they're 34. <laughs> yeah, shout them out. Shout them out. They're 34. I did the math with like, my calculator yeah. quick. So one, one, one. I was like, how long ago was that? I was like, 1990. Uh oh. That's me. That's me, Holmes. Yeah, it's a 34. 34. Yeah, I'm getting up there, kid. Getting up there, mid 30s. Once it's 35, it's on one. That's it. Money. That's it. It's over. Yeah, I'm doing backflip at 35. Yeah. All right. yeah. What do you think? You do a backflip now? Nah. No, I. Right. <laughs> you gotta train it for that. Thirty-five, shit, right? I'm doing it. <laughs> Did you land? Ah, ah. My back. Thirty-five, back. I'm my back. doing my it. All right. Remember, I said it here. Thirty-five, backflip. All right, we're gonna we're gonna hold you to that. We're gonna hold you to that. Why should we start training for real? <laughs> we just have a whole segment of me working up to get ready oh, to do a backflip. That. That's content. Yeah, we'll film that. That's content right there. That's content. So when right it happens, there. we can just be like, he did all that. To- <laughs> <laughs> you see him working out, and he's just tired at the. Oh, hold on, hold on. How long you been working out? Two minutes. <laughs> like I'm done. Yeah. That's how it goes, huh? That's no funny. <laughs> Uh, Dev, go just move us on, Dev. Oh, my God. All right. We, we're going to round this out. Um, <laughs> hey, right, Dev. So this is the Axe the Gang exclusive. Um, this is something I wanted to actually bring up last week, but there was a lot going on. Couldn't get to it. But it just crossed my mind again earlier today how I'm about to buy another plane ticket to go somewhere because uh, you know world travel world travel, travel. now we're, yeah to, oh, along the east coast so you know world travel world my travel. mom's in florida you know that and dustin's in georgia so i'm just thinking about so i was just thinking about the time of me flying back from the holidays okay and um i'm gonna let you know i did ghetto i, I was i was gonna actually let me ask you this first question let me just ask you this mm. how well do you how 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 much would you trust do you trust random people in the world to get you out of a sticky situation do you trust them like like a random person, like you in a building, say like you're in an elevator, and something goes wrong. Do you trust people to get you out of the situation or make it worse? Hmm. I don't know. It depends on what's up, hmm. and it depends. Like I don't know. It really depends on the situation. Really. All right, now think. Let, now let that marinate in your head. So now next. So I'm so I'm just thinking. So I'm thinking about all these flights I'm 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 taking. What do you think, in your opinion, is the worst airline? Jeez. I mean, I know I don't fly them that often but everyone keeps oh, saying spirit. spirit yeah i personally I love that both of y'all said spirit so this is going into my story. i've, I've, take, oh, I've okay. taken i've taken spirit before see this is the thing i've taken spirit before i guess i must took it before it was not trash because i was chilling <laughs> but then later on they like i stopped taking spirit when jet blue started to blow up but now jet blue is trash so it's less like jet blue has his problems it, has it problem, got delay problems king delay but it's funny that you say spirit because spirit is deemed that that airline that's just like 
downright horrible. And they they're and honestly they're a scam. I feel like in my eyes because they have cheap tickets, but then they make you pay for everything. Everything actually they make you pay for. So did you, did you fly Spirit? Is this where the I did fly? Goes? I did fly Spirit. Okay. I did fly Spirit. Yeah, I felt so that I'll shout myself out. I felt that too. I don't I don't knock you for that. But yes, this is why I'll have I was nervous about me flying because I've seen the people who you see people who fly Delta and you see people who fly JetBlue, but there's a certain people that fly Spirit and you can you can spot them. So I'm just thinking as myself as I'm sitting down the plane to fly back home. This is after New Year. Well, like before New Year's after Christmas. I'm sitting on the plane and you know, the flight attendants going around and asking people, oh, like, would you be would you be com- would you be comfortable in a if they sat in the exit seat? They're like, oh, in a case of emergency, would you be able oh, yeah, to yeah, help yeah, yeah. these people? That's a crazy uh, question. Off, That's what you mean. Off the off the off the plane. So I'm mm. hearing this and I'm just looking. I, I look at the people who all say that though. And they all say like yes, yes, yes. And I'm gonna tell you, everyone that say yes, I do not believe a single one of them. That if I'm in a sticky situation they and the go. door, they need to open some doors that they're gonna do, they're gonna do right. So I feel like people be lying, and that's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> I'm on the spirit airplane. Would I trust anybody in this airplane to get me out safely, or is this gonna be a straight mayhem? So how comfortable do y'all feel like in a situation like that? The, it could be anywhere, not just the airline. But I'm like, do you feel comfortable with random people to do the right thing in a sticky situation? I mean. Like I said, in that situation, I don't know, man. That's t- that's tough. I think that anybody's gonna be shook. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, but that, but isn't it crazy how they're asking people to they, be they, to help in a when you don't have enough people to help, you have in civilians. It's, it's just like because they, help. you know why they 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 ask at least because then it, it puts that awareness, I guess, in your head if you sit in that spot. Because if you put someone there that doesn't have any idea of like, and it's just like, nah, I can't do that. Then now the door is you guys trying to get to the door and homies there like perfect example. Perfect example. So on this on this on this flight that I was going to, some people don't have their seat signs, so they call people up like, oh, if you don't have a seat sign, come up to the front, then they'll sign you. So normally, I guess they were putting people in that exit seat. She was like, yo, you're gonna be put in the exit seat. Can you help out? And then the girl didn't speak a speak a lick of English. So she was like speaking another language. They're like, "Oh, we cannot put her there because in a crisis situation, she, don't even she can't even communicate, and she don't know what she's doing." And then I said, "Don't blame her." She'd be like, hey. be like, "Wait, what?" Hmm. So like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you see certain people in situations. You're like, "Yo, so do you volunteer?" That's the question. Oh hell no, what are you talking about? So then, so then you're not the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, do the, I do the analysis, yeah. and I'm like, I'm like, I, yo, I I'm be honest, bro. I respect that. And real plain, God forbid, real plain situation. The first fight you having is you not getting sucked the fuck out that plane, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That shit blow up like yeah. you see in the movies, like boom, and the air pocket comes, yeah. takes like, your whole yeah. shit out. If you if you somehow manage to get past that part, <laughs> <laughs> then you gotta deal with falling. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know what's crazy? There's a there's a show on Netflix now. It's it's about a plane crash too, about some dude that's survived crashing in the in the mountains. I don't, I didn't see it, but if you look, it's called Snow Society or something, something like that. I know oh about this yeah, I got nominated yeah. for a Golden Globe. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. they that's like of um, a plane crash. Like how you survive in that plane crash? When that's into a into a into a, a mountain, right. nonetheless. Right. But hey, I just I was all I, was, I know is that no, nah, I don't want to say that. If in the situation of a plane crash, your best, hopefully best option is that you over water. That's your best low key option. Which also seems like your worst option, but it's the best. Depends because, how far out you are. But they, these things got GPSs now. We passed that. You've seen planes disappear. Not really though. They find plane crashes now. They they just they just don't find like they mo- most all planes that have crashed in our in our last like ten years they found. Nah, you don't heard about that that shit that flew from Taiwan that disappeared over. That the- was the only one, and that's why that's they say the- it didn't crash, bro. That was yeah. a hijack. You say it was a hijacking. That nah, was a hijacking, know, bro. That was a hijack. They did say, it, but they tried to front like they said they found debris in the shit. They did try to say that, yeah. but the debris was like bare minimum to people being like whistleblowers being like this is not even fucking plane. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But know, the only Crashing other the time, water, the only other time you hear wild shit where planes like disappear in history is when you talk about like the Bermuda Triangle shit, yeah, like that, keep, all that wild shit. Keep playing with the Bermuda. Uh, no, nah, the Bermuda Triangle is real, man. That's the key to the 
Guardians of the Galaxy. Did you go to Bermuda? That was the Bahamas. Oh, you went to Bahamas. Um, nah. that. That's All I'm movie. thinking though is like, because now Dev got me thinking like, because of the way we are as a people, as a society, as like a picture like one person is like, yeah, 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 like they just want the seat, so they're like, yeah, I'll sit right here. It's cool, it's cool, cool. And then like shit really do go down, and they're like, yo, remember what we told you? And the person's like, um, and then you already know how people are. They're gonna turn and be like, yo, so. All right, run it by me again. So I press this, they're like, sir, we don't have time. No, I got to, I pull this down, right? And I bring like, it up. Which one do I do? Which one do I do? All I can do, all I can picture is just somebody in the back like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what the fuck? Yo, we going to die. We going to die. Real talk, man, die. Real talk <laughs> the only thing you're going to be hearing is screaming. <laughs> like, ah! it's like snakes on the plane. Right, right. Like, Niggas going to be screaming. No, no. And I, and I, I don't wish that on anybody. Nah. But. Anthony, it, I think you do good in that situation. I ain't going to hold you. I think you would get us out. Thank you, man. I think you would. I probably would, honestly. But I would be fucking shook. I <laughs> I don't even like planes. I've I seen live... you in sticky situations situations before. Thank you, man. Thank and you. you've you've gotten you've gotten you've gotten me out of a couple. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Cause I'll be shook. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't let it phase you, so that's the good part. He's like, that's nah. it. I get out of the I'm so seat. scared of bro, I'm so scared of heights. I tell you guys all the time. I don't look over railings. You scared of heights? Yeah, bro, I don't fuck with roller coasters. I've been on roller coasters because of pure peer pressure of friends oh, calling me a, a bitch. I didn't know you was a pansy like then, that. And oh. I, I don't, I'm scared of heights. I don't look over railings. I don't like elevators, bro. I fucking... I fucking Damn, so don't go to that one summit thing in down in the city. Bro, I go on a plane... Literally, I make sure I do not sleep at all. You the can't night sleep. Before. No, well, the I night knock before. out like a yeah, baby. No, no, no. I'm talking about before you even no. take off. I'm like, no, no, no. On I'm the plane, dead. I sleep, but that's because that's the only way I, I forget that I'm on a plane. But the night before, like the night leading up, sometimes even two nights before, I don't sleep, bro. So that way, when I get on this plane, I'm a zombie. <laughs> like I get all this shit, and I'm just, and I, bro, I'd be shook. I, I'd be shook. I'd be waking up, and I'm just like, yo. We are in the fucking sky. <laughs> like, we are so high up. Like, we are I am so high and not like I want to be. Like, yeah, and then I always close the window. And then if there's that, yo, if there's ever that one person on the side that opens the window and wants to look out the whole time, that should be driving me insane. <laughs> Damn. I'm just there like, yo, please. You be triggered? You can't sleep I was like, nothing? please, just close the window. I do not want to <laughs> so see the sky. So he goes to me he's like, yo, bro, can you like close that for me? Like, I have told, I've asked before. You've asked before? Yeah. Uh, I'll look at before. you, I'm like, yo, if you don't turn your fucking head I've asked back. before. The, the, Did they close it for you? The time that, um, the time I went to Miami was, yeah, the time when we went to Miami, um, Going from Tampa back to Miami, it was raining, and the lady next to me is looking out the window, and it's fucking, we're in a cloud, my man. It's <laughs> like full on, like real cloud, raindrops, the sunlight showing, mad cloudy. You can just see rain beating across the plane. I'm just like, yeah, please, man, please. Like, let's just, let's just chill and just relax. <laughs> Did they ever peer pressure you to go on, uh, what was that one, uh, that roller coaster, King the Car? Yeah, bro. I got the greatest story for King of the Car. Did I go on King of the I didn't want to. I got, you want to know what the greatest story for King of the Car is? You got stuck? No, 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 no. Check <laughs> it out, check it out, check it out. This is a real story. I went to Six Flags multiple times with the same group of friends, right? Every time I went, I went on one roller coaster. Every That's time so I went, no, I went on different ones. So I've been on Superman, the Skull Mountain one. Like, uh, I've been on El Toro. You should have, because El Toro don't have no loops. Yeah, so that's, that's a safe there. one. Yeah, I'm going on all the safe ones. Okay, 100%. Okay. You went on Batman? <laughs> Huh? No. Wow. I, 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 so, yo, check it out. So, they always were like, you need to go on King. If you're going to only do one at a time, you got to go on King the Cot. Nah, you went for Bro, the, the time we went to go to King the Cot, when I finally was like, today's the day I'm going to go, we broke? get there, we're waiting online, and the shit breaks. Uh, yeah. This shit breaks, and I and I make a video. I sh- wish I could pull it up. I, I I saw the video recently on Facebook. I made a video of me talking shit. Like my friends are trying to make me go on a device that breaks <laughs> into the sky, and they try to say that it's fun. But nah, <laughs> you go. I went once. I think I went scary. on King the Car once. It it's was scary. scary. But no. if I you got stuck up there, <laughs> like sometimes it did. Forget you think that's scary. There's people that go on it during Fright Fest. Yeah, yeah. When and it's, it's all dark and shit. black, yeah. It, it just shoots you into the sky and it yeah. brings you back down. It's oh, in the no, darkness. In no, dark, the darkness. You're just like, oh my God. I've that seen, I've seen one time standing there, it go up. Literally, 
I wasn't gonna go this time. I was just wa- standing watching it. I'm like, yo, niggas is crazy. And as I say that, that shit goes up. It goes up, and when it reached the turn, it slowed down, and it didn't make the turn. And you can see everyone's head like this, and then it came back backwards. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't and get it, enough power to go up. Yeah. I said, you yeah. fucking. Buck. <laughs> you don't want like, me to go on this. Like, get me off this now. <laughs> you want me to go on this? You let it and slingshot everyone's like, you, everyone's you, let it slingshot you again, or you asked to get off? Nah, I'm getting off. I'm not <laughs> even getting under the seat, bro. I never got. Yeah, that's what he's saying. He he's yeah, sorry. So you never like, did to, came to cut. Never. And mm. then because the one time I finally muscled up the energy to go, God said no. Although you say you did do King of God. No, I oh, never did it because oh, when I went oh. online while I was waiting online to go, the <laughs> shit we were literally the next group. The shit went. And then they were like, yo, it's broken. We got to shut it down. And they oh. shut it down. They shut it down for a couple hours. And then they brought it back. And then there was a line again. And it was it was like starting to rain. So they shut it down for the night. Because mm. I, I guess it's too fast for the rain. So that shit will fucking not <laughs> hit the yeah. brakes. That's <laughs> a fact. That's so. when niggas are sitting in there together. Like, everybody all together. Nah, fuck all I'll that. I'll see you fuck again. So I guess we could come to a consensus. We don't trust the people outside to get us out of the city. It's, it's always going to be a I mean, a if it's, you never know, bro. You it could be. Know. It could be. Oh, fucking, you have someone that could save your life. It know? could be black yeah. ops. You don't even yeah, know. Yeah, it could be an army dude. It could dude. be an army dude. Yeah. Like, yeah, I got you. And you're like, yeah. you're like, nah. And then that, when the shit go down, my man's like, everyone single fall. Single fall. I know what to do. <laughs> or it could be somebody that's like, I just saw this show on Apple TV Plus called Hijack. I, I got it. He no, just talked. He just He's talked. Like, I'm interested. Don't worry. I'm interested. I'm interested. Don't worry. The nigga get up one top. Back, back, back. I was like, oh, oh shit. I was like, Mom, get back, get back, get back. No. He's like, yo, get back. They got like, oh, they really, they really, they, really they don't give a fuck about <laughs> nobody in here. They don't give a fuck about nobody in here. Let's back up. There like, you say you eat your sick. <laughs> he said, I know about you. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. I saw that show too. That that too that's funny. all you need. Chill, oh, chill, man. That's funny. No, hey, we're not talking about nobody. That's no, no, no. I'm talking oh. about just planes in general. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, I know. Planes <laughs> are scary. Yeah, about, yeah, 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 yeah. But you're right. Shook. It is, Shook. It is a 50, who knows even 50 50, but it's definitely a. Very shaky chance yeah. of trusting somebody, and we do it all the time, unconsciously. Oh, We're just on yeah. the plane, not thinking about who it is that's sitting by those doors. So you're right; it's a very shaky chance. And plane, I mean, plane, plane, plane ratio is is less than car crashes. So yeah, yeah but yeah, he's so. just saying he's just saying for that specific. I mean, and it should always stay that way, by the way. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. But he's just saying for that specific moment. That's you know, like just. Like, if that person is sitting there when you're looking, you don't want him him or her to have to go through that moment. But if that moment arose, like, yeah, you, you know, know there's like a whole nother to class of planes, too. Like, we take basic level, you know, especially yeah. for the traveling we do. But then, like, when he went to Japan and shit, he was taking those big boy planes. Yeah. And then there's even, like, planes, take like, the super planes. Like the flat MRIs? I think I did. I don't remember. Oh, you did MRIs? Oh, you uh, I don't remember. Yeah, he, had money. Money. he had to. He had to take bro. that. He had to take that moment. But you gotta take. Yeah, you gotta take a big fight. It's yeah, a big. Yeah. Right. And to then. Support those and then flights. there's the there's a whole nother level, the big super class where the dudes who are taking jets, like private jets, mm. or just smaller planes, like they pay the extra bread and they they're not booking with American Airlines or any of them. They're booking with some shit called. Um, there was one I saw recently that said like million dollar airline. Like that's literally what it was called. <laughs> I was yeah. like. I was like, all right, I guess you need a million dollars to get on this plane. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it costs sometimes to maintain them shits. Like. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, yeah. once again, that's another episode in the book, y'all. Uh, yes, again, yeah, yo, yo, we, he still got his honey, but pour me a, we got wow, you, know, you got to pour me honey. That's you crazy. got yours. He gave you that a while back. I thought that was yours. Nah, I took mine. Um, but yeah, we got a shot. We got to once again, toast to all the winners of the Golden Globes, we gotta we gotta toast the kid that won. I mean, uh, first ever to be Tetris in 34 years, and we gotta toast Michigan, the college, for winning uh, college football championships, national football, national football championships. Oh, wow! Uh, no, it was it was national. Or was I mean, it's college. It's college. It's college. No, well, yeah, college football championships uh, prior. I mean, they they've always been a strong team, right? That's a good college for football. Am I wrong? Yeah, yeah. no, you're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But um, before before we take the shot again. Follow us all social media at Nerds in the Hood. N E R D Z I N T H E H O O D. I can proudly say we can see more clips of the show coming soon. Anime rap intros. We now on YouTube have fight commentary or of our 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 new program 
throwing hands with Ant and Dev. Um, throwing these hands. We got, we're probably going to bring back Manga Man Podcast. and so, so much more. Um, just check it all out. Spotify, Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, YouTube, and like I said, all social media because it's the best place that you can catch. Your boy Marv Black. And McGee. Young Dev. The nerds. In the hood. In the hood. See you hood. next time, folks. Peace. Salute. Salute. <laughs>